Hi, my name is Nick Burnham and I'm here for Motorwork and Yachting to talk about kill cords. Now there's a couple of things to consider before we get to actually how you use a kill cord. Um, and the first is that the enemy of kill cords is uh, UV light and moisture. So it's very important when you're not using a kill cord to tuck it away somewhere out of the sun and out of the weather. The other thing to bear in mind is it's always worth having a spare kill cord on board. If somebody was unfortunate enough to go over while the boat's going fast, they're going to take the kill cord with them and anybody left on board can have no way of starting the boat to go back and retrieve them. Now, the other thing to consider with your kill cord is the condition of the cord itself. And there's a couple of things to be aware of. The first is the actual elasticity of the kill cord. Um, a lot of these over time, they will go slack and they will lose their stretch and it's important that it's in good condition and it's got plenty of elasticity in it. The other thing is uh, to consider the colour. UV light, as they break down, they do tend to go from red to orange. So if yours is orange, it's probably time to think about getting a new one. And the last thing is they all have a small metal crimp. That again, over time, particularly if they've been left somewhere damp, can go rusty. It's worth making sure that that's in good condition and that it's tight. So now we need to actually connect the kill cord to the boat and to ourselves. The end that connects to the boat varies depending on what sort of engine you've got, but most of them have a little button and this holds the little button in when it clips over it and that's what allows the engine to run. When it's pulled off the button is released and the engine stops. The other end attaches to ourselves and the recommendation is to put that around your leg. And the reason for that is to keep your upper body free for actually controlling the boat and this is why the elasticity is important because if that is slack then that will drop down your leg which at best will be annoying and at worst means that the kill cord won't work. So finally once you're all connected you're all set to go boating it's just a case of starting the engine and you're good to go but the last thing to do before you leave the berth is just give the kill cord a tug at the connection end and make sure it is actually operational and the engine stops. Once you know that's all okay, you're ready to go. The last thing that I would mention is it's very, very important that all the crew on the boat are aware of the importance of wearing this thing. And it's important that everybody is just keeping a gentle eye out to make sure that the helmsman is wearing it. It's really easy when people are changing over, you're having a nice day, for somebody to get behind the helm and not put this on. Everybody on the boat needs to be aware of what this does and everybody on the boat needs to be just keeping a gentle check and make sure whoever's driving is actually connected to this thing, otherwise it just isn't going to work. Mm -hmm.